Hi there. Hi. <laughs> so we've got another bat rap for you, and it's Kado versus Signa. Um, I won the roll off, and I decided to go first. Uh, oh, my list uh, was I took a striker two list uh, with the squire, and then the battle group is Thorn and Rowdy. And I got a um, junior warcaster with a centurion on. Got a almost a full unit of storm blades, just minus one of the storm gunners and the UA, uh, sorry, the CA, and then a full unit of trenchers with the CA, but without the grenadiers, and then Finn, Axwell Finn. Um, so that was my list. Uh, on the Kador side, I took the same list as you guys saw last game against Retribution with uh, Butcher 1 with two juggernauts, a Kodiak, and a destroyer. A full unit of Winter Guard Infantry with Kovnik Joe and three Rocketeers in Command Attachment. And some Widowmakers and a full unit of Men of War Shock Troopers. Cool. So it's the scenario with the big circle in the middle and the two flags. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, we've got our six bits of terrain on there. And yeah, so I won the roll-off, so I just deployed uh, my guys first. So I... Knew that, uh, or I thought actually that because of your wind, because of your win window makers, widow makers, <laughs> that you would choose the side with the um, with the forest. But apparently that's not the big thing anymore. Um, but I knew that the stormblades didn't want to have anything to do with those guys, so I took a gamble and uh, deployed them to run, ready to run up through the gap between the house and the uh, and the pond there, and then everything else is on the other side, ready to run up between the house and the forest. Um, and then after you deployed, I put the trenches up. Um, I had enough control, uh, command range to spread them out across either side of the house. And Finn is in there as well. He's difficult to spot because he's the same colour, but he's uh, front and centre, ready to run up. So, there's your deployment. So on the Kadar front, um, I didn't really have a big plan going into the into the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as you can see there, Widowmakers are facing off against the Stormblades. Yeah. Is that what they're called? No. Uh, because that was uh, well my answer to dealing with the high armor. Uh, then uh, Destroyer also on the flank, again, uh, meant to uh, take out some of the Stormblades. Then the whole unit of Winterguard taking center, trying to jam up the, the, the zone. Uh, behind, uh, next to that is uh, the Manowar, as well as Butcher in the back, and then uh, most of my other jacks behind the hill. Um, so yeah, like I said, the plan was to jam up the center with the Winterguard and then um, threaten his jacks that are facing off against most of my jacks on the slight right flank. Yeah, so my plan was uh, pretty straight, fairly straightforward, and that was um, the trenches stay dug in, and they use their cautious advance to move up. That makes them very difficult to shoot. Um, because Insanely you do have, difficult. <laughs> you do have some shooting, but it puts them at defense 17, so that keeps them safe from the window makers. And then uh, the Winter Guard um, can't really do a lot with their AoEs unless they have their extra dice to hit. Um, so looking at maybe taking out two, three guys uh, per turn um, instead of basically all of them. Mm. Uh, so yeah, they needed to stay dug in. And then the rest of my plan was do not get into melee with your army. Um, so with that in mind, I... Um, did a cautious advance with the, no I didn't do cautious advance on the first time I just just um, walked them up and dug them in the trenches and you can see that Finn is right almost in the centre of the circle and he's right out front uh, trying to tempt you towards uh, my trenches being badass then uh, after you deployed your uh, widow makers the storm blades decided that they didn't really want to be on that side of the table anymore so they just ran across like it but that wasn't cool and uh, yeah, what, what two up? two houses in the way now. And then I uh, got Thorn. He ran up. Um, the reason Thorn's in the list is so that I can cast Rebuke th for a Striker uh, without putting Striker in danger. But there's actually nothing on your in your army that needs orders to function. So he didn't really uh, have an awful lot to do. But he's up there just in case I could throw some spells out. And then uh, the Centurion and Rowdy made a little wall to hide Striker behind. Uh, that's it for the first turn. So basically, trenches walked up and everyone else ran. 
Yeah, my first turn, um, my window makers uh, figured they had to make some windows in the barn, so they moved uh, moved in the barn, uh, mostly to hide from the trenchers. Uh, I didn't really see much of a point for them early game trying to take some sh take down some trenchers because um, they probably got shut down uh, in return. So I figured to be a bit more cautious with them. Um, then I tried the uh, Winter Guard Rocketeers as well as the Destroyer um, to take out some, to actually try, I wanted to kill Finn, like my aim was yeah. to kill Finn with the Drifting AoEs, which did not work unfortunately, um, I don't think I did much with, with most of them, um, and then I repositioned my Rocketeers back into the Winter Guard lines, um, and that was it basically for them, so unfortunately uh, very ineffective first round of shooting. And then on my right flank, um, it was basically a big traffic jam of slow mana wars and then Jacks trying to kind of wiggle around um, that little traffic jam. So yeah, uh, in terms of movement, not the most effective turn and for shooting, unfortunately, I didn't get lucky with any of the AoEs. Yeah, so you were counting on drifting onto guys who are immune to blast damage. But I think you took maybe a box or something off the Rowdy, or you certainly drifted onto him, maybe you can yeah. attack him. Oh, I forgot to mention I had, um, what's it called, the the, uh, the armour bonus up for, against shooting, so that helped a bit as well. Um, so, which I upkept on my second turn. Uh, I think I had Arcane Shield on the Stormblades as well from the Junior Warcaster. Um, then I did my cautious advance with the trenches and pretty much murdered the Winter Guard. So I think you rolled pretty badly for your toughs because you gave them tough with Kovnik Joe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they just walked up, stayed, stayed dug in, and still were able to shoot. Um, I think you shut off, shut down ten guys. Yeah, or something like that. So that was pretty. I was quite pleased with that. Let's let's put it that way. And very smug. Uh, <laughs> and then the. Um, am I missing something? Yeah. No, I don't think so. So yeah, Rowdy and the Centurion just. Walked up. Ah, that's right. So I had a, a, a line just all skirting from where the Centurion is to the edge of the uh, large circle, and I couldn't put any guys over that line because I would have got charged by uh, your men of war. So that's why my two heavies didn't uh, advance up too far. Uh, so what was important was getting Striker into the zone, so he just walked up and towed into the zone. So that threatens the uh, dominating the zone on my next on your next turn. Uh, Stormblades just shuffled up behind the rest of the guys. So I don't apart from taking out the Winter Guard, I don't think I did too much else. Uh, Thorn decided because he's not really got much utility, so he's just wandering towards the uh, Widowmakers, and with a knife for possibly charging them on the next turn. Um, and that's it, I think. So, yeah, so your next turn looks like that. So losing all my Winter Guard, or at least the vast majority, was a big blow. Um, I figured I would lose a fair chunk, but not, not this many. Um, so I figured I don't have much to lose, so I moved them up quite aggressively, maximum distance, and tried to take out as many trenches as I could by using their uh, mini feet. Um, however, I was very keen on killing Finn. So instead of actually trying to take out trenchers, I, I directed most of my sprays at, at Finn. And, um, which shouldn't have been that hard with boosted two hit rolls with, from Joe. Fluffed the second roll. Yeah, doing one damage on, yeah. one, of the, on one of the sprays. So he was left with one, one, one uh, health left, which was unfortunate, but I don't think it really mattered overall. Um, and no, I forgot to activate him on the next turn. So ah, true, yeah. <laughs> it didn't make any difference. <laughs> he still does stood there like a boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Being extra bossy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think I took out one trench. Yeah, one trencher was, was killed because of my sprays and Finn was left in one box. Uh, the destroyer, unfortunately, didn't do anything with his, with his blast. Uh, I did manage to damage um, Thorn quite a bit with my, with my rockets. Yeah. Brutal damage and... Um, Boosted attack rolls is quite nice to... Uh, it's really nasty against light jacks. Yeah, to cripple light jacks. So he was left with probably eight boxes? Yeah, something like that. Movement was out, Cortex was out. No, because of the um, the extra armor from ah, true, the, the yeah. upkeep spell. Yeah. So he was okay, but uh, I think the Widowmakers uh, solved that problem for you. Exactly, yeah. Then the Widowmakers uh, finally decided to crawl out of their, out of their barn and then um, took out the last Cortex boxes on, on Thorn. 
Um, then on the um, cluttered side, I try to move up my mana war a bit more aggressively to uh, lure out a charge and set up some uh, counter charges if that were to happen. And the Kodiak moved up, uh, vented steam, and I hit Butcher behind uh, the cloud wall. So because you moved up your men of war, I was able to counter charge with Rowdy and squash one of them. Yeah, that I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Rowdy was able to uh, charge still into the zone. So um, scoring started at the end of your turn. Oh yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, I think you forgot that it was a kill zone. Yeah, I killboxed myself. Yeah, so I got a couple of points for that. Um, and because I had Striker in the zone, and there's, what, five Winter Guards sitting in there, and that's the only thing stopping me from scoring. So my so I noticed that I could actually win if because your Destroyer was more than four inches from your own flag. If I could get one model up there, then I could score a point. And then if I could get rid of your Winter Guard, then I could score two points, and that would be the win. Um, so that was what happened. Um, so the uh, Trenchers did an assault and wiped out all except one of the Winter Guard. And Rowdy was then able to charge that Winter Guard and squash him. And then um, Finn uh, was able to just run up and get the objective, and that was it. That yeah. was the game. So it was quite relative on our scale. It was only a couple of hours, so it was a relatively short game, and it was very interesting because of pre-measuring that made a massive difference. Yeah, because I was able to be very careful uh, with positioning my uh, infantry so they maximise their shooting with minimising the repercussions from that. I was able to position all of my guys outside of charge range with all your nasty heavies. Because <laughs> basically, if, if you'd got me in. Malie, yeah, I, I would have lost. That would have been the end of it. So it's very. That was like big no no. Is is getting within charge range of any of your guys. Um, so yeah. So what would you have done differently? Hmm. Well, I think MK3 has started with extremes for me so far. One huh. game I, obliterating retribution, and this game yeah. <laughs> being obliterated myself. At least losing losing big time. Um, and this was. Probably the most convincing loss against me in my uh, War Machine career so far. I killed uh, a total of one trencher yeah. while losing on, uh, <laughs> while only having had two turns myself. Um, and I think coming from playing my Sorcia 2 list a lot and now going to a different caster with a completely different kind of list um, shows me that mostly I, have, I need a plan for my deployment. Yeah. I mm -hmm. never really, I really had a, like, not only a deployment plan with Sorcia, but also a plan. For what that meant for my first and second turn in terms of movement and, and threat ranges yeah. and I have none of these things for this particular list so yeah. I just I need, I need to think about it beforehand and play it a couple of times to to have those moves in mind yeah. and um, if I have four jacks that are sturdy I should make sure they're in the zone not kind of yeah. crawling <laughs> crawling over some hill on my flank they kind of need to be running full pelt, pelt at the enemy for the whole game until they get into melee yeah. and that is very scary um, I don't know if you'd managed to get all of your jacks into the center uh, zone, then it certainly would have been more difficult to get points, um, and it would have been virtually impossible for my list to uh, to kill them. So it would have been sacrificing guys just to keep you out of the zone yeah. would have been my only chance. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm pleased about it, but I think if we ever play this match up again, it's not going to be. It's not going to be the same. Uh, this is not going to be that easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that your Winter Guard will now be a bit scared of the trenches, but they're really there for screening anyway. Yeah, I mean, they can happily die if it, man if it means I can put my other things in the position that they can actually do something. And I think people may have mentioned on the forums that trenches are quite good now. They are they insane. They may have dropped that into the conversation. They, they're great. They're really good. They, they're worth the points. And always, people always were take complaining the, about Winter Guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same defense, not no, <laughs> not being able to be hit by blast. It's Na native assault, native um, <sighs> tough. What else was there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to take the command attachment. It's very important. So even if it means taking the minimum unit, it's still worth taking the command attachment. They can still do stuff, and that keeps them dug in. And in this particular matchup, it gave them two turns to do stuff before you guys got to them. Yeah. So they were very important. They died a bit, or rather they got shot quite a bit. I rolled 
I rolled above average on my tough rolls, but yeah, they're great, really good. Yeah. Key pieces. I'm a bit a bit sad that I didn't get to use the Centurion because I think he's very good as well. Yeah, uh, he deserved yeah. to get some attention to but, be to be in the spotlight. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll I'm try so- and get him. <laughs> maybe if I get him painted up, maybe it'll be a bit easier. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks very much. You too. And uh, I hope the next bat rope will be soon, but uh, it might be a few weeks. Okay. See you next time. Ciao.